Grade 6 math number 11.8, transformations, translations, rotations, reflections. Slides, turns, and flips. That's what those are. A transformation moves or changes a figure in some way. The figure that results is called the image of the original figure. And transformations of shapes can be drawn on a coordinate plane. So there's three common transformations. Translations, you know, like translating from English to Spanish. Translation, it's a slide. In language, you would slide the English version to the Spanish version or the Spanish version to the English version or German to English or French to German. See, it's using the same words in a different language. So it's like sliding a shape. See, you slide the shape along a line without turning it. See, this point matches this point, this point matches this point, and this point matches this point, and it just slides along a line. See, rotations or turns. Rotations turn the figure around a point called the center of rotation, the dot right there. It slowly rotates it around. A reflection is a flip. And then the figure flips. It's called the, across this line called the line of reflection. It makes a mirror image. See? We can use tracing paper to help draw a transformation image. We can also use its plotted points and measurements. If we wanted to move this figure to this spot and all we had was this point and then it matched this one, we could either trace it with paper and then slide the paper over and then transfer the tracing, or we could say, all right, well, this is the point and this is going to be the exact same point so if this was triangle ABC and it was going to match this one with ABC and we knew that AB was three inches, we could, from this point, we could draw a three inch line. We see that it's a right angle. So we know BC is going to be a 90 degree angle. We measure this one. It's four. And then we draw in the hypotenuse. See? We could also count the units from the line of reflection and then count the units up and across and sideways. So if we were on a grid like a coordinate plane or graph paper, and this was our line of reflection, this black arrow, we could say, okay, it's one unit away. So we make it one unit away. And it's one, two, three, four units tall. So we make that one four units tall. It's four units wide, so we make it four units wide. And then we draw our hypotenuse line, see? You can also draw a rotation and trace it and put your pencil on the tip of the rotation and then rotate the paper around to its new position. If, if we rotate it 360 degrees, we're going to be back where we started from because circles are 360 degrees. So if we traced this one and then put our pencil on that black dot, our center of rotation, and we moved it around, we'd be able to see it rotating, see? And if we went completely around 360 degrees, we'd be right back on top of our shape. See that? We can also use a cutout shape to show rotation. All you have to do is draw yourself a shape and put a center of rotation on it. And then take your cutout and you can move it around the point for the center of rotation. See? This is what it would look like if it rotated around. Let's make it rotate around 180 degrees, like halfway. That's what it would look like if it rotated around halfway, 180 degrees. See? In our last video, we had this triangle, and we wanted to plot the points for 2, 5, and for 2, negative 3, to see what the options were for a right angle to have four units up or four units down. And it could have been plotted on either one of these. That gave it a line of symmetry. And you can see it flips with a line of reflection across that black line. See? And that was in our last video. And we didn't even realize that we were coming up on this, did we? All right. So here's what I want you to check out. 
There's a book titled A Cloak for the Dreamer, and it's by Alien Friedman, and it was written in 1994. It's about a tailor's sons making cloaks from a rectangle and a square and a triangle, and the third son uses circles. Really cute book. Check it out. It really explains what we're talking about here with transformations and slides and turns and flips. And then also looking ahead for eighth grade, because this is sixth grade math, there's a thing called glide reflections, and they're a combination of the translation, the slide, and the reflection flip. First you slide the shape, and then you flip the shape. So it's a combination of both a translation and a reflection. So look forward to that as you get older and you start uh, getting into the other levels of math, okay? So that's like a little looking ahead tidbit for you, all right? But check out the book, A Cloak for the Dreamer. It's really cute. And we're going to continue talking about geometry. And I'll see you next video, okay? Bye.